Dear family, life as a refugee is not easy. I never imagined that I would be forced to leave my home and everything I knew behind. But here I am, a stranger in a strange land. The war has torn apart everything I held dear. The streets where I used to walk are now rubble, and the people I used to know are scattered to the winds. The sound of gunfire and explosions is a constant reminder of the violence that drove me from my home. As a refugee, I face new challenges every day. Finding food and shelter is a constant struggle, and I never know what dangers I might face on the road. But despite the hardship, there are moments of kindness and compassion that give me hope. I've met other refugees on my journey and we share a bond that transcends language and culture. We are all survivors of the same horror, and we can lean on each other for support and comfort. Despite the difficulties, I hold on to the hope that one day I will be able to return to my home and rebuild what was destroyed. But for now, I must focus on surviving each day and finding a way forward in this uncertain world. Please know that I miss you all terribly and think of you often. I hope that someday we'll be reunited. But until then, please know that I am safe and doing my best to navigate this new reality. With love, Peter. Hey guys, still here and welcome to episode 7 of the Great War Western Front. It is April 1915 and I have been given an option. Zeppelin bombers. An initial foray into bombing London with Zeppelin airships hasn't gone well. But the idea itself has potential. Our officers have a plan for an extensive bombing campaign into England using airships supporting by our naval fleets. Such a campaign could have both logistical and morale effects on our enemies if successful. Now, I am going to pay for this plan. It is going to cost me a thousand if I decide to go through with it. It will gain me 15 national will. Now, at the moment, I'm looking at a saving of 6244. That's my uh, treasury. Alternatively, I can say, well, cool plan, but uh, I have alternative measures that I need to take. And I can get additional gold reserves. I think right now the gold reserves are more valuable for what I need to get. Because with this gold, I can fairly swiftly start deploying both the supply depots and the field hospitals or uh, the triage tents wherever necessary. When it comes to research, um, this one is the last one I unlocked, the wartime donations, which will give me 1200 gold reserves. There is another one that I would kind of like to get. Um, that is this, this one. Enemy Inspiration doubles any research points awards gained from completing events. Now, apparently sometimes you can get um, one of these missions, such as building progress or demoralize them. And by getting that, you get research points. Now, research points are really valuable because you only get one per month. And supposedly, um, later on, you can get more than one per month. You can get two. If I could get a couple through here, that'd be fantastic. But that would require me to also open up the region intel. So it's going to be one, two, four research points total. Or four months in total. Alternatively, save one more point and I can get the wartime taxes, giving me 1400 gold reserves each turn. This potentially means that I'll be able to start spending more on reinforcements. Which means I can go a bit more aggressive in the way that I approach a problem. In the sense that uh, if you are a bit strained for money, and of course the medical tent already helps with that. If you're strained for money, you don't want to lose too many men. So you might have to fight a bit more defensively than you might like. Especially when you're trying to break through somewhere. So wartime taxes, definitely interesting. Uh, I can immediately get volunteers. It's going to get me two infantry corps. The allies will receive one and uh, one British, one French. I just received two corps. Over here, you can get another four new corps. So this way is very quick to get additional firepower on the map. And that also opens up the way to care packages eventually. Like I said before, there is so much nice stuff that I would like to get. Um, that it's going to be difficult to really decide what I want. And, uh, well, 
If you don't know what to do, do nothing. So I'm not going to do anything. As for the Allies, they haven't actually been moving. Interestingly, they haven't done much. So this is going to allow me to take my units and go on the offensive rather than having to spend my units on the defensive. What I want to do is create a breakthrough over here from bar le -Duc. bar le -Duc is already restoring stars and apparently it has a supply depot. I don't believe I put that there. So seeing as I didn't, then the allies must have done it. Having the supply depot here is really valuable because it means that if I want to push here, I am going to get an additional 400 supply draw from the main cache. But the game does say it's going to be a major loss. There's too many regional cores over there. Oh, sorry, too many total army cores. So if I want to push there, I'll probably have to dedicate a whole lot more. And that does mean I won't be able to push just yet. But again, seeing as the enemy is potentially broke and I'm really saying this very 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 cautiously because I don't know they might be broke um, but if you f underestimate your enemy uh, you're going to be in trouble so I gotta be careful with that now as for reinforcing the area of Stenai over here potentially but it's probably not ideal I first want to boost Borla Duke with another field hospital and let's take uh, no, I don't care about conscripts. I'll take two German infantry corps. I'm going to move here. I don't want to have the defense of Metz be too light. But it is a sector with four stars. So let's say they do get hit. It's not quite the end of the world. I do believe that the guys over here in France know what I'm up to. Because they seem to be reinforcing uh, this sector with more infantry. So, the alternative, and I'm just thinking of this as I'm commenting on it, is to just ignore uh, saint Menult and go for Saint-Dizier. Because this has five cores and this has seven, and that does make a difference. They apparently have uh, disunity of command, so they got different nationalities working together. And as such, they don't communicate as well. So it is possible for me to hit this instead, and this is likely to be a stalemate and potentially even better than that. So that would mean um, I cut them off here and then take uh, chalon sur -Man, but that does take a lot more time. And as long as I start digging deeper into this area, that means that the whole breakthrough part is vulnerable, just getting cut off. So... I would rather not. I'll just happily stay here. Now, what's that other event that's currently running? Poisoned air. Gas. An ecstasy of fumbling. Fitting the clumsy helmets just in time, but someone still was yelling out and stumbling. And floundering like a man in fire or lime, dim through the misty panes and thick green light, under a as under a green sea, I saw him drowning. Um... Yeah, apparently National Will has taken a bit of a hit, but it's not that bad. I'm still 748. Oh, sorry. This just works both ways. This works both ways. I don't believe the Allies deployed any gas so far. But I cannot be 100% on that. Anyway, um, this is going to cost some National Will. Anyway, what am I doing here? Not much. Not right now. I want to hold. I want to stay. And I want to see what the Allies are going to do. I want to get this really big punch from bar le -Duc to go right for saint Menult, But we are going to come under fire. Uh, Nancy is coming under attack from Metz. Oh, sorry, no. Metz is coming under attack from Nancy. So this stack over here is pushing north. They are suspecting a major loss. Let's hope not. Okay, here we are. The plan for this battle. Make as many casualties as possible. That's the whole deal. And in order to do that... Um, I mean, I know I'm going to lose this fight. It is that straightforward. I know I'm going to lose this fight. So I will happily give up positions X and Y. And just defend the command trench. I'm going to try and make this into a fortress. Which means... Um, I'm going to not care about these trenches. Because they'll just get taken by the enemy. 
I'm not going to use any of those. Unfortunately, they don't offer refunds on these sort of pre-suggested trenches. Just have to make use of them as they are. And instead... Well... Okay, retrospectively, that was a pretty bad idea, because I'm going to be fighting on this battlefield again and again and again and again. Considering just how often they're going to have to attack this. Anyway, um... If I want to start using machine guns adequately, I'm going to have to find a good spot for them, which could be here. So let's say a machine gun there, and a machine gun there. There is still the possibility that they're going to come over this angle, but there's not that much that I can do. Um, well, let's say I put the machine gun one notch like here. Oh, it doesn't... It, yeah, sorry. It attaches to the command trench. Now, one thing I do not want to do is something like that. It's going to give me fantastic fields of fire, but one good group of artillery salvos is going to knock all of them down. So I very much want to spread those out. As for this... Let's go for a second line. Now, I keep getting comments saying, you should use the comm trenches. Uh, no, I really, really, really do not want to. One, I would invite you to play the game yourself <clears throat> and uh, figure out whether they work or not. Maybe they do fantastically well for you. For me, absolutely not. I really don't like them. For the simple reason that the comms trench is basically a highway to go from, let's say, uh, here to my main line. So if they manage to get into this trench, they'll just walk right over here. And in doing that, this trench and this trench do not get an opportunity to fire back. So I would much rather lose the trench, have the AI mess up, and have them uh, find out what I can do later on by just having these guys climb out, make a mistake, and get shot at. I'd rather have that than have these guys figure out that, oh, hold on, there's a highway to their main trench line. Or, well, not even their main trench line, to the rest of their trenches. So that's my reasoning for not using any of this stuff. Alright, let's start putting the infantry in. As much as I like machine guns, I do believe more in infantry. And the field of fire from the machine gun is pretty good. But, arguably, barbed wire? Well, it's too expensive for what it does, really. I'd like to see this at, like... 8, and then with a reduction to 5, but it's going to be costing me 10, with the reduction of 3 to 7. If I research that. Um, if I put an MG over there, that's going to help a lot. And then one there. I guess we're going to have to forego the barbed wire. It's not fantastic, but it's, right now, too expensive for what it's going to do for me. What I do want is just a whole lot of infantry. Because right now it's cheaper than in the main combat phase. I can't even stash all the infantry in. What the hell? Uh, yeah, well, I guess we're going to go with a few more lines. Unfortunately, that doesn't quite fit. Now, I'll just keep that stuff in reserve. And instead get a few more machine guns out. Like a machine gun over there. That might actually be safe from the enemy's artillery. Because it could be too far away. I don't know. It's going to depend on where they put their own artillery. Uh, oh, and I deleted this one. My bad. Okay, so we've got MG, 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 MG. Uh, medium trenches or the advanced firing trench. Sorry, improved firing trench here. Except for this one. These are simple trenches, and we're going to turtle as hard as we can. Alright, here it comes. The trenches are full, and the enemy is eager. Let them come. Interestingly, uh, there are some Belgian infantry around, and I very much appreciate that. Because that means I can defeat the three Belgian infantry companies. All I gotta do is nothing. No, you cannot quite go AFK in battles like these, but you can, basically, just micromanage your infantry, and that has you covered. That's about all you need to do. Uh, there we go. We got took two out of three out. 
The problem is I can only call in like 15 of these additional companies and then it is curtains for me. They have already taken the Yankee point and that means that they're now starting to push from this side. Thankfully, the machine gun here is coming under fire but this one is not. And this one is having a blast uh, in more ways than one. There are a lot of infantry units up for grabs. And you can see that the artillery is definitely hammering on this one, but the one all the way here at the back, right on the map edge, so far, not so much. So that means this artillery, well, the artillery might not be able to reach this, and on top of that, um, the artillery is, sorry, no, the machine gun is able to suppress most of these guys before they even get close to the trenches. Hopefully they're going to keep attacking from this side so that that machine gun can do what it does best. I'm going to call in some additional companies because these guys need help and it's going to be pretty urgent. Now they did, surprise surprise, manage to make it into the trenches, but it's going to cost them. Now like I said, I fully expect to lose this particular battle and that's okay. I can lose the battle, but I don't have to lose the war. And as long as the AI keeps, well, kind of making the same mistakes, which is not pushing through when they had the opportunity to do so. I mean, when they got to these trenches and took them over, they could have knocked out this machine gun, but they didn't. And now you're going to see that they're keeping probably eight groups attacking at any given time because they also want to hold on to their trenches. And that gives me some time to cycle some units back and forth. So let's tell these guys to go. Pull out of the trench. See, this is an, a completely wasteful attack. That's a whole company that just dies for absolutely no terrain grab. Nothing. In hindsight, I should have set these up a bit different, these trenches, because... As they are now, I can't even fit all of my pop cap inside the, the trenches as I have them. So I probably should have built yet another line um, or extended one out a bit. I'm not sure. Ah, here's the next wave. Look at that machine gun go. Bloody hell. They barely get into range. Wow. This artillery barrage is a bit of a problem, though. No. It's also suppressing these trenches, but not the machine gun. Keep them at bay. Hello? No? Okay, cool. Machine gun is, I don't know, going off and doing its own little thing. Apparently it doesn't strictly adhere to orders. <laughs> doesn't seem to care too much. Yeah, that's a bit more than eight groups, as I was saying before. This trench will fall. It's not the end of the world. But this machine gun going down is not in the playbook. That's less ideal. Oh, sure you will. I'll get another couple of companies in here then. See, this is the mistake. This right here. Had I actually had a comp trench running from here to here, people would have been able to just walk from one trench to another, and this trench would not have been able to do anything. Now they're forced to climb out. And as they do that, they just get mobbed up. They get completely mowed down. That was the plan all along. This is exactly what I wanted them to do. Everybody skirmish mode, please. Lest you get yourself killed a little earlier than expected. Left flank is perfectly fine. We'll get that trench back. I've got to be careful because this trench is kind of working against me now. Oh, never mind. Fixed. Because they messed up. If I can get the allies to spend like another 2.5k or something to that effect, that would mean that I'm going to be able to not have to defend next turn. I should be fine. And that might mean I can take some terrain for myself. Oh, that's not very gracious of you. Okay, fine, get in there. Mop them up. The fact that this trench is no longer effective is a problem. Yeah, this is very clearly showing what happens when you don't have the machine gun anymore. Now they managed to knock out the machine gun there, there, there. 
Only this one's still functional, but they don't care about that one because it doesn't have a purpose at the moment. Yeah, they're definitely going to break through here. Well, are they? All these guys seem to be fighting among each other, just trying to get into the trench. And as they do that, all the other trenches of mine are killing all of these companies off. Yeah, they can't have any reserves left. Have you seen how much they have on that bar? They most certainly have more companies left. I don't have a lot of supplies left. This is problematic. Get in there. Thank you. Yeah, here comes the next wave. Hold on. Uh, I want you to stay here. Stay here. Stay here. If you can get into this trench, fantastic. If not, don't lose any sleep over it. Because it's probably going to be your last night anyway. Um, just park him there. You take these guys out. You guys are going to have to wait until something gets into range. The concentration here is too great. There's too much stuff pushing... No! No! Misclick. There's too much stuff pushing in. Stay in the trench! Oh, Jesus. If you just misclick once, they instantly pop out. <clears throat> and that will potentially get that group killed. It's running on normal speed. I think we're going to be looking at thousands upon thousands, potentially somewhere in the range of eight to nine thousand allied casualties again. It'll be extremely expensive for them. Apparently, the AI perceives this line to be the weakest one. Whether that is accurate remains to be seen. Because so far, I'm able to constantly keep pushing companies in, but I can only do that one more time. Over the next seven minutes. What I find curious is that the AI apparently does not seem to think that capturing the X point is of any importance whatsoever. And I don't know why. Because the X point is rather important to have. It does give them more points. And with that, just a greater victory. But for some reason they just don't do that. I don't like it that this trench is out of commission. Oh, I don't like that one bit. <clears throat> because this is a very important field of fire. And right now, it's a little busy. Also, very, very clearly noticing that I don't have any elite infantry here. Otherwise, the infantry would be dropping a lot faster. Okay, let's call on that last company. Get in there. Skirmish mode your way in. And right now is going to come down to micromanaging whatever I have left. Because I have zero supplies. Well, I have two. I can't call anything with that. Man to man. Kick him out. Just thin the herd. As much as you can. Start relocating some infantry. Oh, crap. Like, the moment that I click... Leave trench, these guys are coming under fire. Even when they're not trying to push on this side. Good night. These guys are going to go man to man and they'll not hold that. My troops, that is. Now they're pushing out. Just got to wait for the AI to misclick. <laughs> if there's such a thing. So. Here we are. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Go on. That one's broken. Well, dead. Oh, this next wave. Oh, Jesus. That's a lot of men. Kill them! Get them up. There you go. Next group. We can thin these two lead companies. But this is just too many men roaming around. This group will hold. This group might not. And I cannot really reinforce this group. 
Well, they should be able to hold it. I can't believe I pushed this wave out as well. Ooh. It's starting to get fairly uncomfortably close. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's not the most efficient. But I'm going to start pushing manpower that way and just go... No, 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 no. Oh, boy. That's... Yes, 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 yes. I'll accept your ceasefire. Good night and goodbye. That's actually a really good outcome. Because they didn't actually do that much. How many people did I... M well, get rid of. 14,800 men? Wow. Like I said, that's going to cost them another 2k. And I lost 5,500 men, which is a little over a third of what they were able to take from... Uh, was I able to take from them. So yeah, defender's advantage. And these trenches are persistent, so I can use these trenches again. But I'm also expecting to get hit again, so I'd better be ready for something like that. Because they're going to come knocking another time, which is going to be pretty soon. There we go. That's 400 gold reserves. Thank you very much. Uh, research points. Excellent. Research points. First, though, uh, Mets. This stack is now minus 20 morale. This stack hasn't lost any. Hmm. I do feel fairly rich at the moment. I'm not sure if that's accurate. 8.5k is a lot. So, do I go for wartime taxes? Hold on. Are there any events? Yes. The Lusitania sinks. Uh-oh. German U-boat 20 torpedoed the passenger liner Lusitania in British waters. 1,200 people drowned, including many women and children. This incident sparked anti-German sentiment worldwide and was considered the first major incident that put pressure on diplomatic relations between Washington and Berlin and would contribute to America joining the war. Germany maintained that the ship, like many British passenger ships, was carrying war supplies and was therefore a valid target. Okay. <clears throat> Some will was redistributed. Okay, I need to defeat only two Indian companies, and that's it? <laughs> wow. That's fairly easy. Okay. I got this massive stack. This is 16 chips. So 16 cores. They have six. What's going to give me the best chance of pushing through? Is it light artillery firing again, or just blowing up all their trenches? It's tricky. The optimizer part of me says just get this because you're going to get even more money. So you'll be able to buy even more, let's say, utility buildings. The gamer says just get this because it immediately gives you a benefit on the battlefield, which might allow you to push through a trench because it destroys trenches. Um, Intel is interesting because it shows me exactly what I what they have. Hand grenades, 100% uh, firepower, improved sights, giving them 25% more damage, which is a big damage output boost. Field hospital, reduces cost even more by 40%. <sighs> and then we got the supply stash, the storage shack. I increased the pipeline to 600 from 400. Hmm. Fuck it. I'm running this thing for entertainment just as much as efficiency. We're going to go with advanced artillery. Siege artillery batteries. So I can now get those. <clears throat> you cannot buy them here as far as I believe. Sorry, no, you can. Yes, you can. The problem is um, I can get them here, but they won't actually involve themselves in the attack just right now. That's a problem. And unfortunately, well, it says you can buy them. For purchase in strategic purchase menu. Oh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'll take another two very much. Thank you. Why? 
Because booms are big booms. And we like big booms, but we cannot lie. However, where do we put this? Here. We keep one in reserve. Just there. Alright. Um, the allies, I think, will not attack on Metz just now. They might, however, attack on Colmar. I'm going to move one chip away from uh, Sarbour over to Metz. So I have a bit more firepower there. And over to the western side. Well, all is quiet on the western front. It's... Oh, do I push now? This is tricky. This is tricky. Minor loss? Okay, I'll wait one turn. And then bring all the guns. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's nine cores pushing on mats now. Yoink. Okay, well, we're doing the defense of Metz again. Nancy is coming back in. It's most likely going to be a loss. I now have 750 supply. I really don't have a lot of firepower still. This is what I'm going to have to make it work with. One way or another. So, back again on the battlefield. I really don't have a lot of supplies to spend. 369. That is it. Fortunately... Um, I don't really have to do that much. I can upgrade some of these trenches to improved firing trenches, which I think will be very valuable. Because with those things, they'll be less susceptible to taking fire. Now, I've learned that the machine gun over here is effectively too close, so if I'm going to put it anywhere, I guess I'm going to have to try and build another trench, like, here? And then put the machine gun, like, there. Maybe even this. To just completely mop up anything that happens to get too close. The problem is, um, I start with spending infantry, and I might not have enough left. No, no it should be fine. 302 is what I have now. <coughs> it should, should work. The real question is, is the enemy going to stick to my plan? Are they going to approach from where I think they might approach? So does the enemy formation tell me anything? I mean, they got one, two, three, four companies there. One, two, three, four, many. <laughs> Very many in the middle. And over here, one, two, three. That's it. Okay. Let's improve a couple trenches. That is going to get expensive. But... Well worth it, likely, because it means that you're not spending as much on getting these things, or on, um, sorry, not, not spending anything. You're not really going to be wasting that much of your time trying to recover from a panic. That's the big deal. Boost that one. Boost this one. I cannot boost these things. Get the companies back in. No, not in the command trench. Thank you very much. That's more of a last-ditch effort. Okay, 172. Machine gun here, there. If they do a head-on attack, I could be in trouble. Because I don't really have a good spot to place a machine gun like there. The moment that they start making it to these trenches, I'm screwed. Because then that machine gun is going to be toast. Mm. This machine gun, as we have seen, comes under fire a lot. This is an option, but they can hit that. <sighs> tricky. Tricky, tricky. Can I do it like so? Put this here? Yes. I can put another one like there. I think this is just as about as dug in as I can get my machine guns. Can I attach them to a comm trench? Yes, you can. That changes the deal. Okay, uh, machine gun. We got one. 
two, three, four, five. I only, however, <clears throat> have 21 groups. 23. 24. All right. That'll be that. The primary objective is once again to make them bleed. Hard. I want to make these guys lose as many men here as possible to ensure that they just lose a lot of cash on the strategic area. And with that, we'll not be able to attack again. Or that I just have some time to push with my big stack with the siege guns. But that's going to be coming next episode. For now, we're just defending. Turtling as much as possible. Here they come. They're pushing on the left flank this time. Potentially because the AI... Well, they might not be able to see what I have. But I wouldn't be able to... I wouldn't be surprised if the AI does know that my machine guns, three of them, are covering this side. So it perceives this one to be the weaker one. And they'd be right. They would be right. So this group um, and all their friends are partying over at my X point. They're definitely going to capture that, as expected. There we go. We must recover it at all costs. Yeah, I don't think so, friend. That's too expensive. Too expensive. The question is, are they going to do the same thing to the Y point? Nope, they're not. Here they come. Brace for impact. And uh, in more ways than one, because it's going to be infantry and potentially artillery with it. There it is. Hans at the machine gun is <laughs> gearing up for the assault. And so is uh, Friedrich on the other machine gun. How the hell are these guys pinned down? Maybe just a, a, an overflow from this trench? I don't know, I can't quite explain it. Oh crap. <clears throat> That's not so good. Can't have the French just barge in here. I mean, you can never have the French barge in anywhere, but this is particularly bad. Go on. Rush into my defenses. There we go. This is the improved trench. You can see that they just... Yeah. I mean, it rains every day. It's just not doing that much damage to them. Go away. Next. I hope this machine gun's going to last. In case you're wondering why am I placing such emphasis on the command trench and not the other trenches or not the other position like A or uh, sorry X or Y. If I park my forces here, I have a nice open firing line. And the enemy can see absolutely everything that I have, thanks to this balloon. The other side has a similar problem, although point B is slightly farther afield, from my perspective. So this weather balloon might not be able to see that much. But this trench can only get shot at, either by uh, just hammering it and hoping for the best, or by having your infantry spot it. So what I'm doing now is making sure that they have to spot it, because their weather balloons are essentially useless. They can't do anything with those. Come on, machine guns. Yeah, now they're hammering this machine gun. How the hell is this British group getting so close? What are you people doing? There sure are a lot of companies moving around here. Yep, there goes the other machine gun. Oh, now they're also coming from the front. Now, thanks to the additional supplies, I now have 190. So I can get a few more. <clears throat> Previously, I could get 15. And I only had three machine guns, four. Now I have a few more. This is not so good. I don't like them pushing across the terrain here. Come on. These first. They really are determined to take everything that I have here. Get rid of these. Just make sure you move in in trench for, or in uh, skirmish formation. I'm surprised these are still here. Don't push out, you will die. 
Sit, sit. Uh, these are going to be dead. Go. Get that trench back. I know you're in an awful state, but this is what we have to work with. So off you go. Get in there! Because this also buffs the machine gun range. At least of this machine gun a bit. Get in there! Bloody hell. You guys both get in here. Thin them. I feel like I'm facing more troops than the last time. There's just a lot. A lot out here. Which is good and bad, you know. <clears throat> Means that there's more potentially for me to target. More groups to get rid of. And thus more expensive uh, resupply for the ally. Why are you out here? Just get in the trench. You. Once you're done panicking, knock these people off of their socks. Just get them out of the trench. There's another wave approaching. Get in here. Be quick about it. Uh, we're going to slowly start phasing people up <clears throat> through these trenches. I don't believe that they're actively going to hunt down this right-hand side. The other side, I'm not so sure of. Oh, crap. Now I called in too many groups. <clears throat> this group cannot actually do anything. Get back here, if you can. Move. Move. Jeez, these guys are getting so hammered by artillery. <clears throat> They're holding on to this trench, which is a pretty clever move. If they push out here, it's going to get pretty nasty. Take these guys out. Quickly. Uh, I'm going to pull you out. That way I can get some space for another group. Oh, this is not good. We've pushed back their forces. Have you seen this? Like, dude, there are a few people coming this way. Just saying. And they're just suppressing everything. And rushing right to my trench. Costing them a lot of men. Go on. Make a mistake. Push out of the trench. You guys get in here. You got... Oh, maybe not. <clears throat> Kick these people out. Can't have the French just camped out in this trench. Not having that. What? You're leaving? Oh. Okay. Yep. There goes another British company. Very good. No? Just a few more. There you go. Well done. <clears throat> Moving up. Just one group. Come on. Knock it off with the already fire. Places to be. Frenchies to see. Both of you. Over there. Next wave. Approaching. <clears throat> if I could get this trench back, that would be extremely valuable. Because it might just buy me like a few seconds. So that I can start depleting some of these companies before they rush in here like a tide. Oh, this needs to swap. I do feel like this machine gun is not contributing a whole lot to this battle. Like, is it even firing? Are they actively doing anything? We're just waving that thing around. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so far, we've definitely bled them. Have we bled them enough? I don't know. I'll let you know after the battle. I wouldn't be surprised, for one, if they're going to offer a ceasefire. Get in there. Next trench. 
in his communications trenches anyway. There. Where's these French groups out? Ah, hello, British. There's more. Get me my trench back. This trench is very annoying. I gotta go man to man in order to take these out. It's fine. Ah, there's more. Always a pleasure. Reinforce. Reinforce. If they push in from every direction, I'd be in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> but for now, they're not... Interesting. For now, they're not doing that. This is not ideal. The company's right into the trench. There we go. That's another one down. Ooh, next wave. Get in here. Get over there. There's another company down. Gotta get tight. Yeah, man to man. This is gonna be a pretty bad man to man for them. Down. I can't wait to see those siege guns fire in the next episode. It's going to be a mess and a half. Their losses have been staggering. Yeah, you'd think so. But they just keep swarming in. Still got a couple of healthy companies here on the right. Is not ideal. We're gonna have to kick these guys out and get this trench back. It's two companies that we're fighting. That's one down. Take the line. Good work. This is when it really goes to show that with a pop cap of 30, it's making it really difficult to push if you got a defender that's as stubborn as I am. I'm making it extremely difficult for the allies to push through here. They've lost so many men in this one attack. These 20 minutes, I'm not sure how... There we go. Yeah, sure. Accept it. I'm not sure how long this is supposed to represent as a real battlefield. Is it maybe a day or a week? I don't know. But I believe that this is going to cost them 17,000 men. Almost 18,000. Which means I also got the efficiency medal. I can do a lot with a little. Um, I lost 10. Sorry, I lost 3 points. They lost 10. So, yeah. Progress. I also gained the perseverance medal. Kept their army morale as high as possible. <laughs> Isn't that what we all try to do? Uh, I would have loved to have this one. Overwhelm the enemy against all odds. I didn't exactly do that because I never went on the offensive. They got Perseverance Medal as well and also got the Efficiency Medal. Remind me how the Allies did a lot <laughs> with a little. <laughs> like, what the hell? A measure of the ratio between the percentage of supply caps spent versus score gained from spending. Okay. The better the ratio, the higher the bonus. I don't feel like they did a whole lot <laughs> with what they lost. Like, the allies list. This is the... This is me, I think. Total supply spent in battle, 708. Total uh, corps, uh, yeah, core supply provided, minus 750. I didn't actually take anything from the bank. Huh. Of course, I cannot see this for the allies. Because then this would be extremely valuable for me. To know after every battle. How much did they take from the central supply cache? Because if that is a lot. Then that means that they might not have that much left. On future attacks. So. The defense. Twice successful. I'm not sure if I'm very impressed with the machine guns. I'm not sure if I really have... A, a, mm, if I'm getting my money's worth out of that. Let's put it that way.
1200 in a research point, very much. Um, Silent Threat. Our submarine threat is one of the largest in the world. Currently, they're on the hunt for military ships, but we can unleash them on any ship within the waters of any allied nation. Doing so risks angering neutral nations, but would greatly hamper our enemy's ability to supply their forces. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go for military only. I have a decent amount of supplies, and I don't feel like we really need to piss off a whole lot of other forces right now. So thank you very much. We are not pissing off any... Um, any non-aggressors at the moment. Germany warns Americans. Germany's purchased classified as in local newspapers to warn citizens of potential danger when boarding ships bound to Europe. We urge our readers to use caution when planning a sea voyage at this time. Uh-huh. Best not come over here. All right, next episode. They have seven cores. We have a few more. It's expected to be a loss, but I have two siege batteries. And we're going to see those things fire in anger in the next episode. So join me next time when we're going to let loose the biggest guns and fire off devastating salvos to completely destroy their trenches. Or at least that's the plan. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for more.